Library Minds is a set of competencies around which you can base your curriculum so that you can teach the skills of learning to learn alongside the subjects of the national curriculum. Everybody Minds is exactly what it says. It opens the minds of these children. It can be matched into the needs of any individual school. The competencies that the children will develop will help them throughout their lives. We behave a lot better and work better. So we made sure that all the key skills are being taught and then we made them really exciting. The teachers, I think, help you more in Beaumont's way. We enjoy the class and so do they. In our lessons, we focus on five different areas. Learning, citizenship, relation to people, managing situations and managing information. These areas are broken up in 24 competencies. The competencies we've been focusing on this term are time management, setting targets and showing initiative. It's making the children think for themselves, to want to learn and to want to find out more. OK, right, are we ready? Brompton Westbrook, take one. Welcome to Opening Minds. I'm Jo Emerson and I'm here at Brompton Westbrook Primary School to see how the RSA competences are taught in our schools. Mrs Hayes, why do you think that the RSA competences see Brompton Westbrook especially? We noticed that our teachers were very good, but the children weren't learning as well or as fast as they could. We've got a real challenge on our hands to raise standards in our school. Opening Minds has already helped us do that, but we've still got a long way to go. And with everybody being trained, even though we've got our high mobility, we can really get this embedded in school and help to shift standards up. You didn't hear it from me. You heard it from Mrs Hayes. This is our teacher, Mr Carthy, who has to put up with us every day. Mr Carthy, how do you think that the RSA competences have fitted into our national curriculum? I think it works um, very well with the whole national curriculum. Throughout all of the subjects, there are times when pupils need to work on their own and times when they need to work as part of a group. I think that without the opening minds and the RSA competences, teaching uh, a lot of the skills becomes more difficult. So, what does everybody think about it? I think it's really good because it helps people of their learning. It's fun. I didn't do much work, but now I do lots. I've been listening well. If you improve at home, you might improve at school to get a better job. When they grow up, it lets you learn more, really. So let's go and find out how it works in the classroom. The learning objective for today's lesson is how to find the answer to a subtraction calculation. On the board now, you'll find three calculations. What I'd like you to do is to choose one of those, work it out, show how you've worked it out on the whiteboards that are on your tables, and then be ready to explain how you have worked it out. I used to not do that many sums. Now I'm like zooming through sums and getting more done. If you sometimes put down on your sheet what you think you should do, like five sums in 10 minutes, and if you beat them, then it does help you. OK, I've had a look at the aspirations board and I've picked out a couple of people and things that they have said that they want to do when they're older. Shahib has told us that he wants to be a professional footballer. How might subtraction help him achieve this? I'm going to give you 30 seconds to discuss that with the people around you. Starting with the RSA competencies rather than the skills within the subjects of the curriculum, I think it's given the pupils the confidence to push ahead and push themselves further on. OK. How much is going to pay for tax? The dreaded taxes. Yes. Callum. How much is he going to pay in his gas and electricity bills? So, Shahib, lots of ways, OK, that subtraction, this lesson is going to help you. It changes the whole approach to uh, teaching a lesson. We now look at the skills uh, that they need in order to access that knowledge themselves. OK, let's have a look at what you've done in this lesson and how the RSA competencies have helped you, OK? One of the big ones was taking a role in a group. Taking a role in a group um, helps you to make friends in the class and around the school. You all had to uh, have a different role in that group and you had to keep 
to that role. Otherwise, you would never have come to the decisions about my calculations that you have done. Also, whilst you were in those uh, groups and had taken on those roles, the RSA competence of respecting one another meant, by demonstrating that, that you were listening to each other. What we have to do in like reading, like organising information, that is very helpful. If I look back at the work that you did in your books in this lesson, okay, you have used the RSA competence of organising information. The showing initiative, you think first before you act. I noticed that when people were getting stuck, they were asking the person next to them or somebody <laughs> opposite them on the table. All of those RSA competencies that you've demonstrated in this numeracy lesson have helped you complete that numeracy lesson successfully. So well done, everybody. There's a lot more listening on my part, a lot more interaction with the pupils talking about how I can help them rather than me just pouring knowledge onto them. I quickly found that, that actually this was key to, to their education and moving them on. Opening Minds is a new addition to teaching at Benrose Community School in Derby. Our assistant head teacher, Miss Dawson, worked with Creative Partnerships to introduce Opening Minds in Benrose School. Here, we like to call it the Benrose Way. And, oh, I've got it. When was Opening Minds introduced and how are people responding to it? Opening Minds was introduced in September 2006. We've introduced it as a pilot project, so we've got half of Year 7 doing the Benrose Way Opening Minds project and the other half doing the conventional curriculum and we are actually comparing responses to both sides. Staff have responded very well to it and the big impact that Opening Minds has had actually is, is on the student social skills. So this is the main hall, this is where we have our Benrose Way lessons, follow me. This afternoon we have got to cooperate with others to achieve the tasks that we are set. And we're going to do that by making decisions and by managing the stress of ourselves and others. We have a bit of an emergency on our hands because there's a nuclear leak. So you're in your groups, but what are we going to do? practice we're teaching three hour, two hour and one hour sessions. We're looking to see the effect that time has on learning. You are now going to make groups of five with one doctor or nurse and four other characters. A normal lesson you'll be in a classroom and a Bremler's Way lesson you'll be in the hall. You get to like interact with them um, what you're learning about. Is that all of humanities, English and geography, history put together and they make it more exciting. Well done to those of you who work cooperatively to make the right decisions. And also when we teach for the longer lessons, we teach in a team way. I have some breaking news at the front line. I think first of all it's changed uh, our educational practices. We're actually working together in teams, cross-curricular teams. There's seven of us having to plan lessons together. We rely on each other's skills and ways of teaching. I really enjoy it. It's a much more pleasant learning environment. The children are planning and working together and the teachers are planning and working together and that's been absolutely great for Benrose. children are taking the responsibility for the learning and the activities in there, it's not me delivering everything all the time. Teachers be like your friends in a Bemrose Way lesson. They help you with the lesson a lot. And I think it's made my lessons more fun. I spend more time listening to them, putting the independence back onto them. You just don't sit down and then do boring stuff. It's just helping people to learn. <laughs> no.
I'd like to accept this Oscar on behalf of my... <coughs> it's so emotional, sorry. No. On behalf of my partner, Callum Harvey. He has got me to where I am today. And I'm, I couldn't have done it without the help of my friends and the rest of the film crew. So thank you. Thank <laughs> you.